Live from downtown Providence, this is WLNE News. Good evening, I'm Karen Carlson. It happened 73 years ago tonight, and still it is the worst peacetime disaster at sea in history. The worst ever. The Titanic, the supposedly unsinkable ocean liner, sank. Sean Daly reports tonight on how this anniversary was observed in North Stonington, Connecticut, also in Fall River, Mass. The Titanic struck an iceberg on her maiden voyage from England to New York. It happened just before midnight on April 14, 1912. By 9 the next morning, the Titanic was history. Because there were insufficient lifeboats, over 1,500 people died. And for the survivors, April 14th became the night to remember. 81-year-old Marshall Drew of Westerly was one of the survivors. There were 704 others. Drew and his aunt made it to a lifeboat, but his uncle didn't. Drew told me what he remembers about that night. The Titanic sank, which I couldn't see, but now I hear screams of these hundreds of people in the water. Now that is what we're coming to. Uh, that's something you would never forget, because that's a frightful thing. They were all going to perish. The water was 28 degrees. To the Royal Mail Ship Titanic, and to the gallant men, women, and children aboard her, and to Marshall Drew, Titanic survivor. All right. In North Stonington today, Drew was the guest of honor at a luncheon put on by a member of the Titanic Historical Society. Today's meal was identical to the Titanic's final meal. There's something in this story for everybody, and it's applicable, I think, in many ways today. Uh, what applies today? Oh, I think our assumption that uh, science has triumphed over everything. I think today, to a lesser extent certainly, but I think today that might still happen. What exactly? The idea that if a man were to rescue himself while women were still um, on board, that that man would, would probably run into some social criticism of his action. In Fall River, another survivor was on hand this afternoon for the unveiling of a 28-foot model of the Titanic. The replica was created for the 1953 movie Titanic. It was donated to the Marine Museum in Fall River by the Titanic Historical Society. There'd been nothing like it before, and there's been nothing like it since. So the public fascination with the sinking of the Titanic remains strong. Sean Daly, WLNE News in Fall River. And yet another memorial ceremony today. Polish survivors of Nazi concentration camps gathered at the State House to honor each other and also pay tribute to the dead.